Hello everyone, this is Tarun from Testing Gyan. Today we are going to discuss linked list. So before we start with our linked list programming, there are a few things which we should understand so that we can write down our programs effectively. So there are mainly three things which I'm going to discuss in this video. The first thing is what is linked list. Then secondly, what is linked list node? And then the third one, how to create a node class. Okay, so let's start with it. So the first thing is what is linked list? Linked list like array data structure is in linear or sequential data structure. But unlike array data structure, we don't have to pre-allocate the memory because linked list nodes will be stored randomly anywhere in the memory. Normally, these, these data are linked together with the help of links. That is why we call it as linked list. Normally, this is how normal linked list will look like. Like 1 is linked to 2, 2 is linked to 3, 3 is linked to 4, okay, like this. And there is one head to the linked list which will always point to the first linked list node. So these 1, 2, 3 and 4 are basically linked list node. So linked list node, what exactly linked list node is? So linked list node has mainly two components. One is like the data, that is data which linked list will be having. And secondly, the memory address, memory address or link to the next link list node. Okay. So mainly node has two components data and the memory address of the next node that is one. If we look at this first node, it is having data as one and it is also pointing to the memory address that is where the second node is present in the memory. So this is how links are formed between the different nodes of the linked list and that is why we call it as linked list. Now let us see the other thing that is how to self define your own node class so that you can store specific type of data within your linked list. Normally when we discuss our programs, we, we should know like how to create a node class. Okay, So let's assume our node is holding integer type of data then normally how we will create a linked list node let me declare a class public class node so within my node as we are storing the integer type of data so i will be first defining a variable int data okay so this variable can be of any data type depending on the type of data you want to store into your linked list if it is a string then you will be uh, defining it as string. If, if you store, want to store the linked list uh, like type of data, then you will be defining a linked list. If you want to store a uh, array list type of data, then you will be defining an array list. Okay, so whatever type of data you want to store, you will be defining that type of variable here. Okay. So it is basically the type of data linked list will store linked list or linked list nodes will store then we define one self type variable which is node next so linked list is also called as self referential data structure because it has a self reference if you see our class is node and there is a variable next which is of the same type as class so that is why we call it as self referential structure then we will be declaring the constructor public node and our constructor will be having the data which we want to store into our linked list nodes okay that is whenever we will instantiate this class anywhere we will be sending out the data which we want to store in that particular node okay. then within the constructor we will be simply writing down this dot data equals to data and this this thing which i'm writing is kind of optional because even if i'm not writing next is equal to null then in java it will be automatically by default it will be num null so this is how you normally create a linked list node class okay so now if i if i want to create a node with some data in some other class or anywhere within my programs i will be simply instantiating this class like node then let's say n1 is equal to new node and then the data in it in it like uh, let's say first data is one then node n1 equals to new node n2 sorry n2 is equal to new node equal to two so we have kind of created 
two nodes now how to link these two nodes it will be simple n1 dot next equal to n2 okay by doing this basically we have created a link list like one pointing to two and two will be by default pointing to null okay because we know our next node is null we have to also define a head so we can simply write down like node head is equal to n1 so basically we are defining a head here so this is normally how your link list will be created so this is how a link list will be formed i hope you guys understand this let us know in video comments for you any queries or questions thank you Thank you.